It's Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church, and this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I just want to share with you that the entire month of January, I've uh, been looking at and going to study then the book of Acts. Uh, I think that's important for us in the year 2022 that we really understand how we are supposed to be as the church and what that looks like for us in the year 2022. So the word today is going to come out of Acts 12 and 1. And we're going to title this persecution of the church. And the word reads, King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. So here we have James, along with his brother John, who were called by Jesus to become his disciples. Uh, they had such fiery personalities that James and John, uh, that they were often called the sons of thunder. Along with Peter, they became Jesus' three closest disciples. And when the church began to grow uh, after Jesus' death and resurrection, James became the first apostle to be killed for his faith in Christ. So the Bible says that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. Herod had just killed James probably because James was known as a leader. He was one that was out front. He was leading from the front on behalf of Jesus Christ. And when Herod saw that the Jewish authorities approved of them killing James, he went after Peter. He went directly after Peter and he arrested Peter also. So this led to the church to pray fervently for Peter. And the Lord surely had more work for Peter to do because the night before Peter's trial, God sent an angel to break Peter free, to break him loose out of the prison. Amen and hallelujah. And that's amazing in and of itself. So family, won't he do it? Won't Jesus do it? Amen and hallelujah. Help me somebody. So sometimes people, they question uh, about this scenario. They say, well, why did God allow James to die? but rescued Peter. And, and why did they, why did God send an angel on Peter's behalf? Amen. And hallelujah. And they, they often ask was, was God showing favoritism and family? I'm going to answer that with an emphatic no, because our God shows no partiality. Amen. And hallelujah. So I just want you to know, and I just came by to share with you that God has a plan, a will and a purpose for each of us in our lives. Amen. And he calls us to serve him until he's ready to take us home to be with him. And while we continue to live in this world of suffering family, God will provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So remember that we are the church. We are the ecclesia. And it's time for us, the ecclesia, to get back to preaching the gospel, sharing the good news and winning souls for Christ. So rest assured, family, our eternal destiny is safe with God and nothing can take us out of his loving hands. Amen and hallelujah. Let us pray. Holy God, let us fulfill the calling you have given us to spread the gospel and build up the church, even in the midst of suffering and persecution in this world. It is in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and hallelujah. So family, until this time next week, Friday, just know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart and also know that God loves you so, so, so much more. So again, until this time next week, Friday, have a most favored weekend.